Hey guys, hey guys, I'm Dirk. I'm going to show you some common editing features in Ableton Live 9. So the first thing that I want to show you is how to trim a clip. Um, right now I have uh, my DAW set up with two drum clips entered. Um, if I wanted to trim this first clip, I would highlight it by clicking on it. And then I just bring my cursor right over to the edge of the clip and I can drag in and drag out as I want to edit the clip. Um, if I want to change how much that clip jumps every time I drag it, I can right click here and go to say quarter notes and then it'll jump to each quarter note. Or sorry, my grid is set up in quarter notes. So yeah, now my clips will jump quarter notes at a time. If I did 16th notes, my clip would trim 16th note at a time. I'm gonna leave it at eighth notes for now. Um, so if I wanted to separate this clip into, say I wanted to separate just this, f this first clip into two clips, I would highlight the part that I wanna separate and hit Command E, and that's gonna separate it into two clips. Now I'll undo, and if I can also right clip, click on this clip and do split, and that will split the clip into two. So I'm going to leave it as one clip for now. Um, if I want to show the crossfades on a clip, um, I can go over to this little drop down box and click fades, or I can right click and sh uh, hit show fades. And I can zoom in on my clip and I can see my crossfades and I can see my fades at the beginning and the end of the clip. So to zoom, um, my favorite way to zoom, the easiest way I think in Ableton is just to click up here and drag. So click up on the number line and just drag down to zoom in, up to zoom out. Um, and let's say you want to loop a clip that you're playing. So right now if I play this, sorry if I play it from the beginning, going to play both of these clips but if I just want to loop this first one I can click on that audio clip um, hit Apple L and that will set up this looping parameter to just loop that clip and that also automatically turns on my loop on or off button up here um, so now with that loop on or off button turned on and my parameter set up for this clip I'm just going to loop that one clip. Um, so now if I wanted to set up a marker, I'm going to unloop this for now. If I wanted to set up a marker where the second clip begins, I can set my cursor where I want the marker to be and click on this set marker button over here. And that's going to set me up with a little marker here. I can right click and rename that marker. Marker 1. And if I double click on that marker, I'm going to start playing at that marker. Um, so now if I wanted to color these clips, um, that's pretty easy as well. You just right click and down at the bottom there's a whole selection of colors that you can use to color and organize your different clips that you have. I like purple. Um, and if I wanted to rename these clips, I would just click on it, do Command R, and I can rename them. Clip one or I can right click and go to rename and say this is clip two so there you go those are some common editing features with Ableton Live 9 um, I hope that was pretty understandable and if you need me to clear anything up you can just comment and I will try to explain things as best as I can thanks bye